Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch here in sunny South Africa with me, Gustav Muller, as your host. Today is a bit of a sad day because it's the last bottle that I'm doing in this series on some of Douglas Lane's blended malt whiskies. This is a whiskey tasting and food pairing review number 110 and today I'm reviewing Big Pete by Douglas Lane. Douglas Lane is a family-owned independent bottler since 1948 and this is one of their special bottlings the Big Pete. Uh, it says here small batch Isla blended malt scotch whiskey bottled at 43% alcohol by volume a shovel full of Isla single malt scotch whiskies, including malts distilled at Artberg, Kulila, Bomoer, Port Allen, and other distilleries. A shovel of peat. Bit of information on the back there. The last one in this series. But I must say, always the highlight of my day to do the research and to share with you my findings in terms of a specific whiskey. So let's see what this shovel of peat from Isla has got for us today. Very pale straw, very light color, bottled at 43%. Very, very light. Like I said yesterday with the Big Peat Christmas, it's almost a almost a white wine color. And loads of peat smoke, sweet peat smoke on the nose. Apparently the peat levels is around 40 ppm, phenol levels in this whiskey. Lots of sweet notes, some sweet vanilla coming through. Citrus and a bit of grassy notes as well. Malty and earthy. There's a there's an earthy note coming through. And a slight alcohol burn on the nose. But quite a pleasant, quite a pleasant nose on this expression. Hmm. This is so interesting that the nose has got lots of peat smoke, but on the palate not so much of the peat smoke. The big peat Christmas was the other way around yesterday. It was very light on the nose in terms of the peat smoke, but then on the palate, loads and loads of, of peat smoke. So very interesting. A little bit medicinal on the, on the palate. Mmm, sweet notes. Some honey flavors, some vanilla and some licorice, which is quite synonymous with Isla whiskies. Mm. Even better on the second sip. A slight saltiness and then a, some peppery flavors coming through and again the earthiness. Of course, non-chill filtered and natural color. I don't know if I've already said that. Earthy and grassy. This is very pleasant. Very pleasant. What is the finish like? It's it's lingering. It's not it's not disappearing. So it's a long finish that I'm experiencing. In the finish, the salty flavors, some of the peaty licorice. It's quite oily, mouth coating. When I tasted it yesterday, I experienced some bitter notes, but today, none of that. So, let's see what a few drops of water will do to Big Pete from Isla. Blended malt. So, lots of different single malts from Isla and then married or vetted together before bottling. A little bit of water 
can see the effect of the water on the whiskey. Mmm, sweet, sweet licorice and honeyed smoke. Released by that half a teaspoon of water. Mm. On the palate after the water, it's like smoky vanilla cream that I'm experiencing. What a pleasant, what a pleasant whiskey. I lie in a bottle, like they say. Maybe a little bit pricey for a no-age statement blended malt. 750 Rand here in South Africa. 40 pounds in the UK and apparently 5 Fifty dollars in the US. A bit pricey, but yesterday I said with a big Pete Christmas, definitely worth it. So if you want to pair this bottle, I lie in a bottle with a food snack, then I would recommend that you connect with the saltiness or the vanilla flavors in this whiskey. So I would recommend vanilla fudge. I tried that yesterday with Big Pete Christmas and it was spot on some sweet seafood like prawns scallops could work well dark chocolate will work well usually with a peated whiskey i've tried a choc chip cookie and strangely enough it actually worked very well fresh oysters would be the probably the best pairing for an isla whiskey such as this one but for today i have chosen Blue cheese, blue rock. I got this from a local store. It is a medium strong blue cheese. There you can see the bit that's left in the packet. I'm not normally a blue cheese fan, but with peated whiskies, I do enjoy a bit of blue cheese on a cracker. Very creamy. This one is trying to get away, but I got it just in time. Creamy and the slight saltiness will connect beautifully with that whiskey. At least that is what I'm expecting. So here goes. Hmm. Hmm. I can feel this is going to work. Isn't it just amazing? Mm. It enhances a little bit that saltiness that is in the whiskey part of the flavor profile, but the creaminess, it just works. It just calls for another snack and another sip. Wonderful. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow when I'll be starting a new series or something whiskey tasting and food pairing review i must still decide see you then slanger